Hey guys, so it's day two of uh, motor fitting, playing the game of inches here, or fractions of an inch actually. Uh, trying to get the perfect motor position. And uh, I think I'm there. So I'm going to go ahead and start modifying these front motor mounts and uh, trimming them down to size and getting them uh, tacked into the frame. Yank the motor and trans out and uh, weld this stuff up. It's time to finally weld it. Um, I built the rear transmission cross member. You'll see some video of that. Uh, and put that in first so that I could locate the rear output shaft. Uh, and I am going to have to make a little mini tunnel under the seat. Not too bad at, at all um, for slip yoke clearance. Uh, and that's pretty much it. Uh, during the course of this uh, measuring and trying to get a little bit here and a little bit there to get it just right, I realized that the cab of the truck wasn't bolted to the frame. So uh, I uh, stuck my finger up there into the black widow nest to see, uh, to see uh, uh, how close I was to being centered on the frame mount and found out that on the passenger side of the cab it was about 5 sixteenths of an inch too far forward. So as soon as I pushed that back and got the hole centered in, the, in where the body mount on the frame is, uh, the valve cover clearance problem went away and my header clearance problem is, is resolved, I think. So this is where it's going. I'm going to go ahead and uh, get these motor mounts in here so I can yank this thing out. and, and uh, So I'm ready to tack in these motor mounts. Um, they ended up being exact mirror images of each other, which is freaking awesome. I mean, you couldn't ask for more than that. So uh, that means everything on from side to side is exactly the same, or pretty darn close to exactly the same. So I was able to mirror uh, the passenger side motor mount, which is the first one that I cut down to fit into the frame. Uh, mirrored that to the driver's side, cut out the unnecessary metal to fit it. I've got the motor level side to side. I had to put my floor jack on one side of it just to bring it up a hair so that I would have the motor sitting dead level uh, between the motor mounts. I checked the angle on both motor mounts and that's exactly the same. So I'm ready to tack them in. They're, uh, they're right where they need to be. I've got plenty of firewall clearance. I've got good clearance at the output shaft. I'm going to have to tunnel uh, a little bit of the floor tub underneath the seat. Uh, but you won't ever even see that. So everything looks great. I'm super excited. So I'm going to tack these in and uh, pull the motor and trans back out. Uh, and then once I get the motor and trans back out, I'm going to fully weld everything. Well, getting the motor back out was a little more of a challenge this go round because I wanted to be, I was trying to be careful and not bump my uh, motor mounts that are welded into the frame. So I, th I don't see any tacks that were cracked or anything. Everything looks pretty good. I put big, fat, beefy tacks on there. So uh, motor's out. Uh, time to burn these things in.
I'm going to weld in about two inch increments and try to keep them consistent and try and keep the heat spread out across the piece instead of isolated to one section of the piece which is going to cause a lot of heat buildup and a lot of warpage so I'm going to try and spread that out so that I'm not overheating one particular area uh, of the boxing plate to, uh, to keep it from twisting. So that's what we're going to do and I'm going to put you guys in the protective case so you can watch and um, let's get started. I got a lot of welding to do. Well, that pretty much wraps it up for today. I'm going to show you some of the uh, the result here in the final welds. Um, there's a few areas I'm going to revisit. Uh, the wind really kicked up here this afternoon while I was welding and um, blew my shielding gas away in a couple spots. And um, I was having problems on vertical up. There was there was a few areas I was running a little too fast, a little too hot, and uh, I'm going to have to grind some of that out. I'm normally the guy that doesn't grind his welds down, but I've got a couple ugly ones that I want to clean up and uh, redo. But 90% of it I'm satisfied with. There's uh, just a couple areas that I'm going to revisit. But uh, let me show you how things came out. So that's our driver's side coil bucket. And our motor mount, it's all welded in. Frame rail plates. Passenger side bucket. So, like I said, you can see here on this vertical up, that I was getting a lot of problems with my feed speed and uh, this needs to be ground down and hit again. It's probably not the ugliest weld you've ever seen but it uh, it won't fly with me so 
I've got to hit that again. Uh, this spot here, I lost gas coverage due to the wind. You can see the porosity in it. So I'm going to grind that out and uh, re-weld that area. And here, I was having problems on my vertical up here as well. Just, uh, I think I was running a little too hot and a little too slow. So, there you have it. 90% uh, of it is great. I think all of the welds are, are fine. You know, I, I had good penetration on everything. Everything was laying in really nice, or so I thought with the hood, hood down. Um, Sometimes, you know, especially if you're running too hot, which I was in the vertical up, uh, it looks fine to you under the hood, but when you pull the hood off and look at it, you know, you can see some drooping there where the puddle was too hot and it was actually too much metal and it was kind of running back as you were running up. So that's, that's gravity for you, I guess. Uh, so I'm going to revisit a few of those spots, grind them down. Hit them again, clean them up, you know, uh, so that I'm 100% satisfied with everything. Uh, but it's all solid, it's all strong, it's, there's no issues with any of that. It's just uh, appearance-wise. And, you know, I'm the kind of guy that spends a lot of time working on areas that people will never even see. Um, but if I'm not satisfied with it, and I know that I could have done something a little bit better, even if you will never see it, um, then I'm not, I, I have to go back and, and do that right. So um, I'm going to clean up a couple of these areas and hit them again tomorrow. Uh, for today, I'm done. I'm ready for a shower, and I'm going to upload uh, all of this video. So, so thanks for watching, guys. If you like this stuff, uh, please click like and subscribe. And uh, thanks for watching.